Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Five seconds left in the penalty, a minute and 27 seconds left in regulation time. Boston four, Montreal three. Lafleur coming out rather gingerly on the right side. He gives it into Lemaire, back to Lafleur. Oh! Wow. I could listen to that on a loop all day long. All day there's, long. A, there's a reason we're playing that Guy Lafleur goal from back in 1979. Uh, Habs and, and Boston Habs going on to win that game in, in overtime. It's because our, our next guest, brought to you by the Vancouver Giants, is always uh, on, on a Thursday. Uh, John Shannon, uh, co-host of the Bob McCowan podcast, NHL analyst, is at a Danny Gallivan golf tournament. I'm not sure if that's the exact title. That? But uh, John is there back east. John, thanks oh. for doing this, sir. How are you? I bet you enjoyed that clip. Oh, I did. I but I don't. Uh, you know, Don Cherry's still a friend of mine. I don't think he'll be happy that we played oh. it, but that's okay. <laughs> Good point. Good <laughs> no, point. it's uh, listen. This is one of the great um, golf tournaments for charity. Thirty-nine years going here and. See, people are now bugging me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steve Armisen. So, but th- th- <laughs> 39 years in running here for the Gallivan Tournament, raising money for cystic fibrosis. The amount of money and the amount of research that has been Whoa. contributed by this tournament is absolutely amazing. When I started coming here, guys, they were talking about the life of a, a patient with cystic fibrosis being in the 20s and hmm. Maybe early 30s. People with CF are magnificent yeah, situation. Yeah, it's really, it's really a, a fantastic tournament. One of the best run in the country. Uh, and we picked a, a day in Halifax that it's sunny and dry and hot and the beer is cold. Have we got oh. you in between shots here, John? Yeah. Yeah. How, how you doing? It's perfect. Well, doing great. <laughs> Great, you know they're they're carrying me today. You know all these guy, all these Maritimers are carrying the guy from Ontario. It's normal. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey John, if we can get serious for a second here, and obviously what you talked about with the CF is a serious subject as well. But uh, Bob McCowan recently suffered. It's well documented. Yep. Uh, uh, two strokes. What what can you tell us about uh, his health? Well, I uh, I visited Bob the day before yesterday before I flew out to Halifax. Uh, he is progressing. Uh, it, it, it was a severe stroke, uh, as he uh, has tweeted out a couple of times, he is now learning to walk again. Uh, his speech is starting to improve. You can hear timber in his voice. So we're pretty hopeful of what's going to happen for him for the future. So, uh, we're going to carry on with him for a couple of days and see what happens. Maybe, uh, hopefully have him back sometime next month. All the best to uh, uh, Bob, and uh, I, 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 I can't, and John can't put into words just how big Bob McCowan oh, is big time. when it comes to Canadian broadcasting, yeah. especially in that uh, Toronto market. Hey, uh, John, switching uh, gears, tough to do, but we'll do it. Elias Pettersson and the Canucks looking to come to terms on a contract extension. Sh- should Vancouver fans be worried about what seems to be a trend, star players wanting to leave Canadian teams? No, I, I don't really think so. Although, I mean, it, there, there are some, there's certainly some uh, indications of that. But the, the timing of these types of things, when you consider, and Rick's t- probably talked about this 25 times, of where the cap is and where the cap's going. You know, this is not a great year uh, to be a free agent. It's not a great year to be ne- renegotiating. Next year will be better. So you have to put all that type of stuff in perspective when you see players who have a year left in their deal saying, well, I don't want to sign. And as soon as they don't want to sign, you take the indication that they don't want to be there. And I think that I think there is a bit of an over-exaggeration to the fact that they, 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 there are certain scenarios, and I think Pedersen in Vancouver is one of those scenarios where he does want to be there long term, uh, but it has to be for the right number. And that right number can't be, you know, without knowing exactly what the cap's going to be. They say four and a half million next year more. If that's the case, then it's a much more positive scenario. 
Hey, John, Alain Vigneault announced today he's not going to coach anymore. Uh, obviously one of the best huh. uh, coaches in Canucks history. What do you think about Alain when you look at his career? Well, you know, he if there was anybody in our country uh, that coached in really hard markets and did a pretty damn good job, was Alain Vigneault not just in Vancouver, but when he was given pretty bad teams to work with in Ottawa as an assistant first and then in Montreal. Uh, and you know what? He, he had a style. He had a system uh, that worked for a long period of time. It, it's, it's one of those things that the great thing about a guy like Alain, you know, if he's decided not to coach again, uh, he was able to hit a couple of home runs with salaries uh, and he's comfortable. Uh, but certainly, I think in uh, in the world of the Canucks and the, the 2011 Stanley Cup Final and uh, who the coach was of that team, uh, he deserves uh, some accolades of what he did with the Vancouver Canucks. John, asking you about the Canucks uh, this summer, do you th- they could be still tinkering uh, with some stuff. I don't see anything major happening, maybe a major trade or something. But what do you think of Rutherford and Alvin and the job they did at the draft and free agency? Well, I, I, you know, I, I was on record on, on July 1st, late in the day, doing my other radio stuff across the country. I think Vancouver did really well. I, I think when you look at the, filling the holes that they needed to fill to, to show some depth with Teddy Bluger as that, uh, that extra centerman, uh, with the two defensemen they were to put uh, on the blue line, Ian Cole. I think Ian Cole will become a, a bit of a fan favorite, the way he plays the game and how hard he plays the game. Uh, and I, I, I think that they're a much better team, you know, and so much of this is dictated. If you give a, a proper defense with guys like Quinn Hughes in the right role, and then, you know, the top six forwards, if they can contribute, then, and if Thatcher Demko can get back to being Thatcher Demko, then this team's back in the playoff hunt and in that discussion. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that at this point. Hey, John, as we wrap things up, you're at the Danny Galvin, uh, golf tournament, raising money for families, uh, who have to deal with the CF, uh, where, where's Danny in your list of all-time great play-by-play announcers? He's up there for me. Well, he's on my, he, he's on Mount Rushmore for me for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, if you put Dan Kelly, Danny Gallivan, Bob Cole, and and Jim Robson up there for me, those are the four guys that uh, if I was to carve a mountain, I would put those four faces on it. Um, you know, Gallivan, Gallivan was an empresario. He, he was he was like uh, a, a great orchestra conductor. Uh, and he, he was so eloquent uh, and so determined to be a storyteller. He was just the, just an amazing guy. It's funny, guys, just as an aside, I'm, I'm walking out of the hotel this morning ready to go to the, uh, the sh- on the shuttle to the golf course, and the phone rang, and it was Bob Cole to say hello. Yeah. Because oh, uh, yeah. he, he, he was part of this tournament for, uh, for a long period of time as well, and he was the one who invited me to come. And Bob just turned 90, and he's, he's still full of piss and vinegar, having a great time on the rock, and you can't help but think about things like that. Good to hear. Get back to uh, swinging a golf club there, John. Love the shirt, and thanks for everything you do for us. Every time you join us, we get all sorts of response, and we can't thank you enough. Well, as, uh, as I, I've already told Ryan, uh, being a BC boy, being on with you guys means a lot to me. Yeah, right back at you. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Cheers. Have, yep. a, great, have a great day and a, and a great summer uh, as well.